Thailand's politics is again being played out in the courts and on the streets. In its first election in March, the Future Forward Party won 81 seats in Parliament and was almost able to form a government. Since then, it's been hit with a series of legal challenges, which it says are part of a deliberate, coordinated attack designed to destroy it. 90% of them came after the election result was announced. So it was obvious that before the election, those in power might be a little bit nervous, but they didn't care too much about us. But after we have proved ourselves in the election, they start to be really afraid. As it's come under increasing pressure, Future Forward, led by charismatic young businessman Tanaton Jung Rung Ruankit, has urged people to come onto the streets. He says this protest just over a week ago, which was the largest since a military coup in 2014, was just the beginning and more will be held early next year. Tanaton was the opposition bloc's candidate to become Prime Minister, but last month he was banned from taking his seat in Parliament for violating election laws related to his ownership of shares in a media company. And now the Election Commission is recommending that Future Forward be dissolved and its leaders banned for up to 10 years because of alleged financial wrongdoing. The Future Forward Party and some of its leaders have delved into some sensitive areas that others haven't dared to, like discussing reform of laws designed to protect the monarchy from criticism, campaigning on ending military conscription and changing old laws that benefit corporate monopolies. By doing so, the perception is they've become a threat to some of the most powerful people in Thailand. Thailand is led by Prime Minister Prayut Chan-o-cha, the army general who led the coup five and a half years ago, and many in his government are also former military personnel. An MP from his party laid the latest complaint with police about the leaders of Future Forward, alleging they're guilty of sedition for organizing the recent protest in Bangkok. Sontia Sawadi says the cases are not politically motivated. In reality, there are no conflicts between Future Forward and the government but all the charges and allegations that are being laid against the party are caused by their own actions. Thais are used to large-scale protests that are often ended violently by security forces. Another cycle of turmoil may be about to begin, this time led by a new, younger generation who say they want real democracy and not a military government in disguise. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.